Hello my dear students. You are welcome back to the YouTube channel The Engineering Surveyor. In this video, I am going to give you a brief introduction about leveling. Here we go. You may have seen guys do leveling when you were walking around a construction site. We will see the basic equipment required for leveling. The first one is the level instrument. It is a device which gives a truly horizontal line once it is leveled. The next one is the leveling staff. It is an extendable device which is made out of aluminium hollow sections and graduated similar to a tape. What is a horizontal line? Good question. We need to know the definition of a level line and a horizontal line before we start the leveling. We will see the definition of a level line. A level line is a line which is at a constant height relative to mean sea level and since it follows the mean surface of the earth, it must be a curve. I thought that the level line is a straight line. Your point is okay. The imaginary line passing through the telescope of the instrument should be theoretically a straight line. Yet that straight line is not the level line, it is known as the horizontal line. We will see what the horizontal line is. The line which is tangent to the level line through the same point which originates the level line and having the same direction is known as the horizontal line. Then there should be an error since we are not seeing the reading along the level line. You are correct. Yet that error is about 0.8 mm for a length of 100 meters along the horizontal line. This error is known as earth curvature error. In next lessons, I will explain it with combining it with the refraction error. Refraction error happens by bending of rays when traveling through the air due to different densities present at different places. Bending rays? Wow! It sounds good. I am waiting to learn it. Don't be so quick. We need to learn a lot before that. Now let's see the definition of leveling. Leveling is the art of finding relative heights and depths of the objects on surface of the earth. So what is a relative height? Good question. Kogulan and Sanjula, please come forward. Here, Here we came. came. Good. Now tell me your heights. I am 5 feet and 2 inches tall. I am 5 feet and 8 inches. Good. We'll see your relative heights. Now you see the true height difference of Sanjula and Kogulan is 6 inches. The true height difference was measured referred to the floor since it is a horizontal surface. Now we can say the relative height of Kogulan is 6 inches compared to the height of Sanjula. In leveling our reference line is in the floor. The line passing through the telescope is the reference line. Sir, could you please explain it further? Let's find out the difference of heights between point P and Q. When the level instrument is correctly leveled, the horizontal line passing through the center of telescope of level instrument is known as the collimation line. Now we can measure the heights of points P and Q referred to collimation line. Now we can easily find the height difference between P and Q by deducting 1.93 meters from 3.47 meters. This is the basic concept of leveling. Sir, 
Now we can understand the concept of leveling. It's not that much difficult. Yes, it is easy. That is enough for the day. Next time we'll talk about rise and fall method used for leveling. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. Coming up next is leveling part 2. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for more of the very latest videos.